all right guys for kage here and welcome back to another video now in this video uh it will be a guide and i'll be explaining you how to level up the units how to enhance the units how to awaken the units and everything about that uh, trust me guys that is really important guide because uh without that you won't be able to improve especially in the pv co content in the beginning so yeah i believe this will be extremely helpful for everyone uh so also uh, everyone told me that us uh, my hero academia is also out officially released so that's amazing so that means more players bigger player base and that's amazing okay love it so yeah leave a like subscribe if you're gonna enjoy this video and yeah let's go with the guide so for every single character that you pull uh most of them are pretty much free to play let me call it like that because i got all of these units i had deco in the in the beginning Dan Danki later on and then hirishima he was pulled from the tickets itself if i'm not mistaken uh, maybe even I got him free to play. I just don't even remember anymore. I played My Hero Academia pretty much most of the day. Let me tell it, uh, let me tell it like this. But yeah, I really enjoyed it. I recorded like and uploaded four videos. That's amazing. This will be the fifth one. So yeah, let me talk about how to improve in this game. In a sense, uh, getting your units getting stronger and stronger with all what the game offers okay so at the beginning it is really important to upgrade the units upgrade how to upgrade the unit well you have the train option you have the resonance option you have the skill option support card option chip option that i still don't have unlocked but it is important but not as a beginner you know uh, then we have the talent assist and affinity so we're gonna go through all of this pretty much the most important thing is training of course resonance skill support card in my opinion they're the most important uh, important one that you should be focused on so let me explain now all of them and how you can uh, acquire the materials so you can do those kind of stuff okay so the first one is train you need to have these materials uh, so when you're missing, uh, okay, this one, this one, and this one. So when we, you are missing one, like I do now, you just click on it. And if you don't have the material, it will tell you where you should go to grind it up. Okay, so it's pretty much simple to get those materials. When you get all of these materials, you pretty much click activate or whatever, and the training will start, and then you're gonna advance. With that... Uh, you are leveling up your units now when you when you reach higher rank of the unit you will need to level them up okay using the food itself okay and in that way your uh, cc will get bigger and bigger okay resonance this is i would say the most important one with the training because you are pretty much collecting the fragments for the units itself when you collect enough of fragments you can get it from the b to the a like i did and now you can get it from the a to s then s s and then the units are getting much much stronger this uh this resonance it will take some time especially uh free to play players like me it will take some time okay now the skill the skill one is also really important more you're gonna train more you're gonna level up more you're gonna reach from the a from the b to the a rank of the unit tier of the unit more you'll be able to improve your skills for every single of character using the money itself from the game not the golds so that's really important money is really easy to get in this game so there is no problem and yeah as you can see when you train them and all of that, when you uh, rank them up, you'll be able to improve your skill. In that way, all what unit does will do just bigger damage, have better uh, inc increased rates and all of that. So yeah, it is really important to level them up. Um, 
Then we have the support cards. The support cards you can get it by playing the game or you can get it from the support card summons. When you get it, it is really important that you put it on a character because your CC will grow and you're gonna have another like support, let me call it like that. Every time you get a card, you can activate and your CC will increase. I, I won't go now into some crazy details. I just wanna give you a basic explanation how everything works. Then we have the talent. The talent, the coins you will gather just by playing the game. You can also get those coins in the shop with the gold coins, which are the premium summable, summable coins. I don't advise that you do that. I'll make sure to do the video top five things you should not do on My Hero Academia. So in that way, especially as a free to play. But yeah, when you gather enough of coins just by playing the game or whatever way you wanna, you can pretty much increase uh the like Hiroshima after q red counter automatic automatically counter using we so yeah it's amazing it's amazing it is definitely really important to have and overall i should every time you get your coins make sure to invest in the unit if you don't have the s rank unit do not worry just work on the b rank units get them from the a to the s to the ss so trust me everything will be fine this game is pretty much really free to play friendly this is the assist uh for certain units it gets activated and then in certain battles you can use it and then affinity this is not so much uh, important for the power itself but like you have the personal file here like Hiroshima, hero name red riot quirk hard hardening height 170 cent centimeters blood type like oh like it's crazy uh a quick upgrade so you can upgrade the affinities using these materials okay you can get from hero commission while grinding some stuff okay and that, that that's pretty much it you know there is nothing too complicated also in this menu you can also use your character to train around have fun try him out whatever character you have so you can do that you have also the intel what recommended card suits each of the units and what they will do so that's also amazing we have also the custom option so in future probably we're gonna get the different costumes and using by this sh co custom shop coin we're gonna be able to buy it i guess so that's really cool assist yeah what assistance you can use for that unit and yeah as you can see for example i'll take this unit and i wanna uh use, as you can see he i'm increasing his resonance until he gets the s rank so that's really important to me to do also i have as you can see, when I'm missing the material, I just go here, you click on the material, you go rush, you can even use the drones, and you're gonna do the mission really, really fast. Okay, really, really fast with no problem. Rush completed, and as you can see, I use it, I advance it, the CC goes up like attack, defense, HP, then I can again level, level, level it up until 50, again i can enhance the skill and you go like that in the, in the in the circles okay nothing too crazy okay now let me just tell you where you can grind your food really efficiently for the leveling up because i believe that is also really really important that i show you where you can grind your food so you go into solo you go into supply and here okay do it 20 times a day if you can it's really important for the leveling up the units everything will go faster so also here you can get a bunch of cash bunch of uh gear material okay yeah i didn't explain you the gear holy i forgot about the gear i forgot about the gear okay why did i click ah sorry about that <laughs> okay the gear you go into gear it is also really important for the uh, cc itself so make sure to enhance upgrade your um your gear and yeah make sure to put a higher tier gear and replace the weaker one when you get them that's like 
whole point there is nothing much that i can explain you right now for example this one i should definitely replace this blue one with the pink one because then my cc will go up so every time like for example this one also my cc goes up so i you, it's all about the replacing the gears between worse gears and then the better gears so yeah make sure to work on it and of course you can enhance it bunch of time and yeah just grind this material for the gear okay you can get it in supply option like like i already explained okay guys that's it i believe i explained pretty much everything what is connected with your strength row especially as a beginner hopefully you enjoy enjoyed my video leave a like subscribe i'm honestly tired now <laughs> so yeah i'll go to sleep Maybe even record one more bit for the fun because I'm really enjoying it. I'm really enjoying it. It's crazy. Okay, love ya. See ya.